Hey guys, happy Friday, John from Switchbird. I just wanted to give you a quick update on our Google My Business uh, messaging integration, uh, show you how it works and why we think it is a really big deal. So um, let's look at how it works first. On the right hand side of your screen, you've got uh, Google Maps and let me uh, search here for Switchbird, and bring up uh, or Switchbird Google My Business listing, uh, you'll see we have messaging enabled. So we have the message call to action. By the way, this will be, be becoming a chat call to action. We know from our uh, meetings with the Google product team that the chat call to action works very well, drives a lot of clicks, and you can imagine it's not too far a leap uh, to then see that um, Google is gonna be pushing uh, chat and messaging as a way of um, driving clicks, driving engagement, and uh, ultimately ranking um, businesses and local. Anyway, let's look at how it works with messaging connected to SwitchBird. So I'll uh, engage uh, our company with a conversation, with a misspelled hi, um, and you'll see we get the little typing indicator and we get an automatic response here. And, and on the left-hand side, you see where that's coming from, right? This uh, conversation is coming into our SwitchBird inbox, uh, just like any other uh, text conversation. It's subject to the same behaviors that we've set up. So we've got an automated lead funnel here for the first time someone contacts us um, and uh, we can message them back and, and, and all of that. But let's look at this, this automation a little bit more, you can see that we've um, uh, modified our automation syntax to support uh, some of these nifty features of uh, Google messaging, like these uh, chips uh, for selecting an option. So if I select see examples, I'll go through our classic um, uh, uh, demo, uh, which is, uh, I'll skip seeing the puppies and just go right into the, the, the demo, which shows uh, a bunch of different uh, industry use cases of uh, how you might use an automated messaging funnel uh, for your business. So here I'll show the contractor uh, example. Um, contractor, you can imagine, is you know on the job during the day, wants to turn on um, Google messaging as well as you know have their phone number live answered. You know, here we're working with uh, none other than uh, Jonathan Scott of uh, Property Brothers, uh, and of course he's on the job, uh, so he's going to ask us this um, uh, lead capture question here: of Are you looking to have work done on your home? Yes. All right. The basic uh, lead qualifier, let's say, is okay. Uh, next thing we want to know is, well, uh, are you looking for one of these things? One of these things that we uh, really want to do, which are renovations, new additions, outdoor living areas. I'll choose an outdoor living area, right? And so a little further qualification of uh, me, the customer, uh, but now it gives uh, the contractor the opportunity to uh, nurture me along a bit. So now they know, okay, well, let me show you some pictures of some outdoor living areas that we've done um, and tell you how much we love doing uh, outdoor living areas, et cetera. So now they're nurturing me along. Um, and, you know, Google messaging is great, but, uh, you know, we would love to see um, more of our customer conversations move to a channel that we have a little more control over, that's a little more you know, durable, or at least have multiple channels at our disposal. And so you can do nifty things like we've got this uh, ring me call to action. Now it's time to get this customer's uh, contact digit. So we'll have them ring me. And this is where we engage everything uh, you know and love about Switchbird. Connecting from Google. So Thanks that, for calling. Did you know you can also text us at this number? So that pin uh, connected uh, this uh, Google user with a phone uh, caller who we then texted back in another thread. Uh, this is the text thread. This is the Google thread. But it's, it's one common uh, contact, Jonathan Hall, who called at 610. Uh, you see the call here. You see the call here. Uh, and now we have his digits thanks to the uh, reverse phone lookup. Uh, and we also have the you know, details about uh, where he lives and uh, so forth. Um, so we get a lot uh, from this uh, initial Google conversation uh, into a text conversation, uh, and we can do a lot more with this uh, too. Um, I'm gonna 
show you one more thing for which I really need to get a paid Loom account um, so that I can go over five minutes because I always do. But I uh, just wanted to show you where this lives in the application. So here under the uh, gear icon, uh, we've revamped this UI a bit and we've got an integrations tab now where we're kind of teeing up uh, a bunch of these integrations, both the live ones like with Stripe, Zapier, Twilio, Call Rail, Call Tracking Metrics, et cetera, uh, future ones with Facebook, Facebook Messenger, Slack, uh, and this new one with Google My Business, which uh, if you look at, um, there's really just five steps uh, to uh, launching on Google My Business, and they're pretty easy. Um, the first two have to do with connecting your Google account and selecting your Google My Business profile. Uh, validating uh, just means you've input all of the required info, and there's really not that much uh, business hours, bot hours, um, some you know, privacy policy and an avatar. Um, and then, um, then you'll go through the process of verifying and, and launching uh, the um, uh, the agent on Google. Uh, and to show you just this, these avatars in action, by the way, if I go back to my, um, my conversation with, uh, with Jonathan Hall here, um, let's say, you know, I want to jump in live now. So you can see it's, it's been an automated conversation so far, um, but now I want to jump in live, which I should do here, I guess. Uh, um, this really gives an, a new, uh, you know, element of kind of transparency and personalization to the experience where I can jump in uh, as a live agent. It shows my my smiling mug there. Um, I can also, you know, even from here do some of the stuff I showed, like add a add a call button. Um, whoops. Um, so. Uh, you know, um, um, <clears throat> that should show the call button. Oh, there it is. Um, and, um, and other things like that, you know, trigger a CSAT survey, for example, um, which it probably won't let me do because I've already done that today. Yeah, it's only once every 24 hours. But, um, but anyway, uh, you can really sculpt uh, the uh, experience uh, and you can imagine that you know, Google is using this data about customer experience in this channel uh, to then rank businesses in a way that, you know, um, will devalue the manipulable and, uh, you know, spam ridden reviews and GMB tactics and on site SEO. And I predict that. Um, that messaging is going to become a huge part of local visibility and local SEO uh, in the future. So uh, you want to jump on this train now? Um, it's leaving the station. Uh, give me a call. Uh, hope you guys have a good weekend. All right. Bye.